This is the epic long exposure shot we took. And here's Michael, setting up our rocket in the middle of a thunderstorm, just moments before we captured the shot. But let's rewind a bit and take you back to where it all began. We've been seeing a lot of epic long exposure photos recently. One in particular caught our eye. A breathtaking shot of a SpaceX launch painting the sky with light. That's when we knew we had to recreate something like that. Our idea? To use the flight paths of model rockets to create a tree of light in the sky. The plan was ambitious. Launch five rockets simultaneously to craft this light tree. To do that, we needed just the right amount of wind to spread the flight paths like branches. For this project, we used our trusty Buffalo Mini rockets, which are thrust vector controlled, lightweight and equipped with a tiny 10 gram flight computer. These rockets are designed to stabilize themselves mid-flight by steering the engines. I adapted the design to make it even lighter by sparing the parachute deployment system and removing the fins. The fins were initially added for easier TVC stabilization, but to achieve the random flight paths we imagined, they were counterproductive. The parachute deployment system wasn't needed as the low altitude and low weight of the rocket should allow it to survive a landing without one. I also reprogrammed the flight software so that the rocket could detect their liftoff automatically. After that we started by printing four more Buffalo Mini rockets. The launch date was set and the weather seemed perfect. Slight winds, no rain. But by the time we planned to launch at 8pm, we'd barely assembled one rocket. Therefore, we decided to try our idea with just one rocket first. As we left the office to set up the launch pad, everything changed. The forecasted slight wind suddenly turned into a full-blown thunderstorm. The wind was howling, the rain was pouring, it was intense. On our very first attempt, the rocket was supposed to ignite its engine using an electric igniter. But in the midst of the storm, the igniter just wouldn't fire up the engine. We almost called it off but we knew this was our shot. So we got back to the office, quickly fixed the issue and headed back out again, determined to make it work. Meanwhile, we knew that getting the shot right would be just as challenging as the launch itself. We had to manually adjust the camera settings to capture the shot. One key setting, the shutter speed, had to be perfectly balanced. The shutter speed is the time the shutter opens so that the camera sensor receives light. The longer it opens, the more light the sensor receives. So it was crucial to strike a balance between receiving enough light to make the flight paths visible while not too much to not overexpose the image. We set the camera to a 6 second shutter speed, an f-stop of 2.8 and an ISO of 400. Against all odds, we launched the rocket 3 times, each one slicing through the storm. The wind and rain shaped the flight paths into something beyond what we imagined. And this is what we captured. With some CGI overlay, it resulted in this epic final image. It was a wild ride, but sometimes the best shots come when you push through the storm. Keep dreaming big and reaching for the stars.